What do you think of when you think of invasive species in Florida? Do you think fire ants, boa constrictors in the Everglades, maybe even chameleons? The nine-banded armadillo was for sure not on my radar of invasive species, but lo and behold, they are considered an invasive species. I decided I'd do a little bit of research and figure out why these are considered so invasive. After doing some digging, I didn't find too much about why they're invasive other than the fact that they're considered a pest around properties. I mean, if you think about it, aren't humans really the overall majority of invasive species on the planet? When I set out to find the nine-banded armadillo at Whedon Island Preserve in St. Petersburg, I didn't know exactly what I was going to find. Some of the times that I come here, I see nothing. No tortoises, no armadillos, but other times they're in the field right behind the camera. It just is really hard to gauge sometimes. It's really a shot in the dark. The times that I do go to Whedon and find nothing are often the most peaceful, not because the animals aren't there merely remaining out of sight, but because the silence is almost deafening and somewhat resetting. Part of the reason I chose to look into the nine-banded armadillo was because I wanted to figure out why they were considered so invasive. They did eventually make their way from South and Central America over to Florida, however, they're not causing much harm, they're kind of just there. I've been observing these creatures for about a week and I noticed that they don't really care for humans. I could get within a few feet of them before they even notice me. They just seem to be more interested in food and obtaining what's below the grass. The nine-banded armadillo is often considered an invasive species because they dig holes around people's properties causing foundation damage and digging up their lawns. Personally, I don't find them to be a nuisance. I mean, I don't own a house, but they do help deter and control fire ants. I would much prefer an armadillo tilling my property than stepping on an ant's nest. Humans are so quick to judge. When they find something of nuisance, their first thought is to figure out how to change it to become a non-nuisance. In the case of the armadillo, trapping or killing them has worked well, unfortunately. Has anyone considered the fact that humans should be considered the invasive ones? I mean, we destroy natural landscapes, pollute, and occupy areas that we probably shouldn't. So when natural forces take over and start hurting what we've already hurt, is it really fair for us to judge? Let me put it this way. When a human destroys another person's property, they aren't considered an invasive species and are certainly not murdered, usually. In my research to answer the question why armadillos are considered so invasive, I didn't find too much than I was considering. Aren't humans more invasive than the armadillos? I mean, we build roads, we build houses, large infrastructures, all while destroying the natural environment. 